Welcome to a Fallout 76 episode. I'm here in downtown Lewisburg. That's the Lewisburg train station behind me. Head up the road and we're looking for Van Lowe Taxidermy. Now we're not here to do the main quest. That's where you can start it by clicking on a poster either here or at any train station. We are here to do some side quests. If you want the main quest line, that's it. Wanted Sheep Squatch. But we're going to head upstairs all the way to Van Lowe's office. And I'm going to show you that. There it is. Okay. We're not going to explore the terminal. We're going to explore the bulletin boards off to the side. There are four side quests and you can get them from either clicking on the bulletin boards here or you can get them from train stations. Although the train stations don't always have all four. The first one is called Death and Taxidermy. And what you get from that when you finish it is the Mounted Owlet plan. I'm going to tell you which plans you get so you can skip ahead and decide which quest you need the plan for or if you need all of them that's fine too. Okay the next one up should be Picnic Panic and the plan you are awarded for completing that quest is the Picnic Blanket. It's a really nice red and white checked Picnic Blanket. Uh, and also let's see what's next. Do, 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 do. Ah, the missing hikers. Let's see. Sheep squash. Tracking terror. This one you get the mounted Yaogwai head. And the very last uh, quest is called uh, Best of Intentions. Unfortunately, that one does not award a plan. So I'm going to leave that one out of the video. Possibly leave it tagged on the end just in case you want to run through and complete uh, any of these missing quests. So let's go ahead and begin with the very first quest. We begin here at Priblo's Curios, and it is in Somerville. We're here to find out where Raymond's truck went and where Janelle's camp might be. Uh, I haven't discovered it on the map, but it's just north of the New Gad Lake, and there's Camp McClintock. So we're in Somerville. There it is. Priblo's Curios. I saw a little... There's a marker. There's an invoice from Smarty's Baits and Traps. Uh, Van Lowe's gold customer discount. Boy, only a 3% discount. That's kind of sucky. Anyways, <laughs> I love the little side little things that they put into this game. Okay, Priblo's Curios. We're at the right place. It is not a uh, marked location on the map. And our second clue is this catalog of unique taxidermy. Uh, we find out a little bit more about these kinds of <laughs> Quirkzilla, a spider ape. There's some really cool like, mm, designs in there. You can take a look at some of that list. Okay, we're down two clues. Let's see. Uh, let's have a listen to this holotape, The Beast of Beckley. Raymond, I'll mail you a list of things I need tomorrow, but I wanted to tell you what I found firsthand. This is big. This is the real deal. I found a dead bear, shredded by something. I don't know. I met a woman in Beckley who said there is a pale monster up here. The beast, she said. Listen, this thing, if it is half as weird as it sounds, it could be a gold mine. Crazy Calvin would pay out the nose for it. Raymond, this is a game changer. We could finally buy the shop outright, or we could get a new truck, or hire some help. Okay, please bring those supplies to my old fishing camp near the pond north of Beckley. This is where I caught that two-headed fish, remember? There's probably a map to my hunting camp and my old truck by the shop. So drive down here and come look for my camp. Park near my car on the road. Okay. Oh, and, um, Raymond... I'm sorry, I've been on the hunt for almost two weeks. I know it's taken longer than usual, but baby, I really think it'll be worth it this time. And before we head over to the truck, let's have a quick look at this note. It's to Raymond from Janelle, and it talks about Calvin Van Lowe being a little bit distracted when she saw him in town. So that's Calvin Van Lowe, and that is part of the main quest line, Lying Low. So let's have a look in the truck. 
let's see, a delivery route map. So Beckley is off to the right in a big rock, and I guess that's the lake in the middle. So let's travel there right now. The closest location is Hornwright Air Purifier Site 3. So we're here at the delivery site through the magic of editing, and the truck is right on the road. So you will have absolutely no problem finding it. Just head a bit northeast. And let's have a look and see what clues we can find here. These quests are pretty short. Uh, let's listen to this tape. It's a long drive. I may as well rehearse this before I say it to her face. Breathe, Raymond. You can do it. She'll listen. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say... Janelle? Honey? I will help you kill this critter, but we gotta get back to basics so the business can survive. Huh. Maybe I should remind her that none of the experimental taxidermy sold last month. <sighs> no, that's mean. She loved making them. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, more supportive. I want you to keep being able to make your art. It brings a smile to your face that I always want to see. But going off to hunt real monsters? It's too dangerous. We're just trappers. And most of what we get is roadkill. <sighs> Calvin buys almost all our stock every month. It's good money. It's enough for your weird art. No. Don't make her feel bad, damn it. Okay. Let's just go drop these cages off and find her. I'm making a big deal over nothing. We can figure this out together. Okay, I'm here. Now, I need to drop off these cages by the pond, and then I'll go to her tent. I can do this. Okay, let's see where Janelle's camp is. Park near my car, head east beyond the big tree, go over the gully, and we're there. Literally, it's like over this little hill. You do not have to fast travel anywhere. There was, strangely, a settler here. Figured he might be a distraction for the Beast of Beckley, so I kind of left him alive. Uh, there's the tent. There are a variety of clues scattered about. A boat about... A little bit of my Canadian. There is a clue. There's a clue right there. Note for Raymond. Uh, Raymond, just dropped off supplies in my tent and wait here. Do not walk around with the bait on you. Uh, that makes sense. Stay safe, Janelle. Okay. Nothing in the tent. So let's look around for the rest of the clues and see if we can find the cave. Which I think is just down. Wait, wait, wait. There's a clue there on the left. One of these weird lobster traps. Broken cage. Smarties big critter bait and traps. Looks like they were doing some stuff with fish traps. Let's head up here. Actually, I really like this quest. It had a great reward. And the beast is kind of cool. And no click to examine on that. And here we go. Kill the Beast of Beckley. And a bit of script there. Wait, is that another? Oh, Pup of the Beast. Yeah, there's a couple of pups. I didn't manage to kill all of them. In fact, they killed me.
Okay, death and respawn. And for some reason, the pups, the rest of the pups I didn't manage to kill uh, are gone. Uh, so let's just go find out to investigate the rest of the area. There's a clue down there on my left. Your other left. Get down there and look at that clue. There we go. Janelle's Revenge. And you saw the reward there for the plan for the mounted outlet. So there is one down and two to go. So let's head to the next unsolved mystery. This mini quest called Picnic Panic will award you the plan for the picnic blanket to find the site. Head a little bit south of Wavy Willard's Water Park and you will find this picnic site. There are a couple of skeletons and a few bicycles at the side of the little dried out uh, riverbed. So let's take a look at the clues. We have a rat poison empty. And let's see what else. Let's have a listen to the holotape. So obviously Mary killed Chelsea, drowned her in the lake bed down there. You can see her skeleton, but you also have the other clue of the empty rat poison and that body there. And she's kind of bent over that she was obviously kind of sick. So I think they basically both killed each other. So now we're going to head over here to the Wesley house to search for a couple of clues as to what, what, transpired what brought both of these uh, ladies to do what they did so let's head over to the house it should be here on the other side of the church and you'll find the clues down there to your left on the floor in the Wesley house the first clue are the dice and the horseshoe and it says examine cow magnet a kid's magnet and some loaded dice that respond to it so somebody was cheating. And let's have a look at Chelsea's diary page. 
Mary keeps beating me at catch the commie. I even peeked at the cars when she wasn't looking. The time before that, I snuck some money out of the pile. Mom says girls like her can't beat someone like me. I'm a Wesley, so I'm better than that. I have to be better than that. She can't be allowed to be smarter than me. She just can't. So we know that Chelsea Wesley poisoned Mary Tinley. And we're now at the Tinley home. And there's a note in a backpack just around the corner here. And Mary was the one who drowned Chelsea. Let's have a look at her diary page. I'm done crying. Chelsea used to be my best friend and now she keeps saying all kinds of mean things. I know I'm smarter than her, but she is prettier than me. Why can't she be happy about that? Why does she have to be the best at everything? And obviously that destroyed their friendship and both of their lives. It's uh, an interesting read. Um, so when you complete Picnic Panic, there's your reward, the Picnic Blanket. Tracking Terror is the next side quest, and it begins at the town of Monongah. And you're looking for the police station, and it's only a couple of feet from the spawn-in point. So we're going to go in here and pick up four clues for Tracking Terror. The first two are right here on the countertop. We already know about Janelle and Raymond, and they were hunting that unusual creature that turned out to be the Beast of Beckley. Um, next up is right beside this note is another note. Why did I leave this one running? There we go. There's the second note. Ah, that has to do with the, uh, it's another side quest. This one, the forensics report is what we're looking for. Uh, <laughs> this was funny. A plaster cast of footprints. And in this case, only a poor quality photograph was provided. We strongly urge that the officer involved be sent for retraining. Uh, this bear has to have a club foot. So they think it's a false print made by pranksters. Head upstairs to the second floor. And the remaining two clues are up there. One of them is down here on the floor on the printer. An incident evaluation involving Officer Jack Dimwitty's response to an animal sighted at the home of Mrs. Claiborne. Claims the officer assaulted her for no good reason and she had a loaded shotgun with her on prints that were found at the scene. She claims it was her way to protect herself from the alleged animal. And she's the age of 91, so it's kind of an interesting little read here. Uh, let's flip to the next page. And they nominated him for a commendation. All right, that's clue number three. Clue number four is on the top of this file cabinet for an animal control report. There are nine si separate sightings of a large bear-like animal near a lake. Uh, a gentleman named Jackson lives in the shack on the lake. Turns out we're heading to uh, Site Alpha, to the building there. And uh, uh, they're, they were also contacted by a Dr. Avery who claims uh, about the bear sightings also. He wouldn't say why he wanted to know, but let's get to the bottom of this mystery. And the location on the map you are directed to is the Site Alpha Shack. Head on in, and on your left, you'll find a note from Jackson. I'm going stir-crazy up here. I know my assignment is to stay here and dissuade people from poking their noses where they don't want to be. And, and it goes on and on and on that he has seen a bear uh, and his, his signed Second Lieutenant James Cord. Now, this is the shack where you uh, descend down and launch nukes, Site Alpha. So let's look around the edge of the lake for clues. And just start off here on the left side of the lake. I'm trying to avoid the other bear that is there. Um, they're just notes on the ground and some bones and things. Um, the first one was a little difficult to find. I thought it was here, but uh, it's been a while since I've done this quest. And let's try... Nope. I think it's on the, just up above the fence. So where this little little hill is here up to the left we should start to see our markers 
uh, for the notes that provide further clues. I want to keep it running so you know where to find, there it is, where you, where you guys can find these notes. Page from Dr. Frank's journal. A strange man in a shack by the lake accosted me. He was very rude and I'm not, and not at all helpful. I'm going upstream to find Fluffy. So, and the next marker is here. It is a foot bone. Nod by a bear with broken or deformed teeth. And there's some foxes. Let's continue to follow the stream. We're still within the search area. Nothing here. A little further upstream, we find another part of Frank's journal. I found Fluffy's den, but I haven't approached it yet. He seems calm. I'm going to try to see if I can sedate him. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Uh, so we're going to search around the animal den for clues. We found one of four. The area kind of opens up here a little bit. And... Let's head off to the right. I can see the radio tower there. Uh, just to the right of those uh, berries that you saw, the firecracker berries. Let me go back down. There were a couple of ticks there, so I killed them. And let's take a look at this uh, skeleton here and see who it is. This should be our second clue. It is Dr. Frank, according to his name tag. And read the note beside him. And it says, they've been doing all kinds of really crazy hybrids. Uh, mouse, cat, cat, dog, uh, brain grafts, all kinds of weird things. Uh, in relation to Fluffy, he was uh, prone to fits of rage. They had to put a shock collar on him. Uh, he escaped, ripped it off, and the police have been noticing these sightings of Fluffy and that hikers were killed in the area. So my poor Fluffy killed them. So let's see if that is actually fluffy up there. I don't see any more notes. Oh, settlers have been up here. Nope. Let's go to fluffy. Dead mutated bear. Oh, he does have two heads. Subject J12, fluffy. And that is the end of tracking terror. And you are rewarded with the plan for the mounted Yaogwai head. So there are three plans. What I'm going to do is go ahead and head to my camp, read them, and show you what they look like. And after reading the plans, here is the picnic blanket. It looks better when there's better light in here or outside. And next up, we'll have the mounted Yaogwai head. There are so many of these mounts. These are the only ones that did not come inside all of the Christmas present rewards. And let's find the owlet. I know it's in this list somewhere. I know so few. And it should be coming up. And there it is. Wait, go back. That's it. Tiny little guy. Looks like a chicken. Okay, there's our owlet. So there you have it. Three plans you can get from three actually really quick quests. I mean, it shouldn't take you more than an hour possibly to, to get all three quests done. Thanks so very much for watching, and I'll see you out in the wasteland.